I think we're good to go, right? Okay, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How is everyone doing? I hope everyone's having a great night or day, depending on what time it is for you. Happy Wednesday. If it's still Tuesday for you, then happy Tuesday. Tonight, we are, are starting a new game, um, but... It's a sequel of a game that we've played previously on the channel um, called Dust Diver, and this is, well, obviously the second game. Um, I think this game came out uh, about two months ago? Two or so months, maybe? One or two months? Two or so months? I don't know. About, about that much. I Maybe mean, it wasn't... Uh, too long ago but um yeah about two or so months ago and um i didn't realize there was going there was even a sequel after um i either looked it up or something but i just found out through like either i think on steam or um some other website i don't know but um yeah it got me by surprise that dust diver got a sequel um and in case you guys don't remember, we had played the first Dust Diver game, um, like I would say maybe a year ago, on um, on the PlayStation Four when I had one. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, the first game was cool. It was I enjoyed the first game. It was short. We beat it in about five streams, so it was a pretty short game. I don't know how long the second game is. But I'm excited to play this again, get back into the series. 
and uh, see what what happens next in this in this game. So, ah, uh, guess let's dive in, shall we? Playing with the controller is recommended. I am using a controller. What are you talking about? Did it say I'm not using a controller? Maybe it always says that when um other when you start a new game. I don't know. So I come up you show uh so like auto saving and not saving. You can select the language and change game settings. After changing, press uh, play or start. To start the game, you can change settings in the game at any time, except the voice. Um, I think I already like set everything before I went live, so I'm sure everything is good. Pretty sure everything is good. We might, we may have to turn down the graphic uh, quality. Maybe this epic is the highest um, setting for this game. And I am playing this at 1440p, so we'll see. Um, Japanese for, for, for the voice, language English. We may have to turn down the audio. I don't know. I guess we'll see. But I think. Other than that, everything is good, so let's play. I don't remember what happened. I don't really remember what happened in the first games since it's a while ago. Um, so I won't remember much or anything at all. Okay, so this game happens a year after the first game. そこで不思議な力に目覚めてそこからリーオおじさんや店長と一緒に始めたバイト生活。もちろんバヘやベーダネーと知り合えたこともね。そして人間界を巻き込んだネメアの知見。なんだかんだで結果的にはお店に一人居候が増えました。そして一年後、僕の名前はヤンユモ。めでたく大学生になりました。ヤンユモ。Yeah, so there is a bit of like, I won't say controversy, but like um talks that the main character of this game looks like. Yang from Ruby. I mean, they both have the same name and they have like a similar design. At least in the combat, the combat version of Yang looks similar to Yang from Ruby. There's. Hey. There's our girl. So cool. Okay. Um, I need to check something in OBS real quick. So give me a moment. I feel like something is not working. Or maybe everything is right, I don't know. Um Hold on a second.
te, 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 te. Everything is good. Maybe I'll just do things. Sorry, I thought like the game was kind of too outstretched in OBS that some parts of it is not showing. Like the outer edges is not sh it's like you know propped out. <clears throat> um. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Just have to make sure. Alright. Alright. Megrez? 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 I don't know. Dude. I don't know this guy's name. Or how to say this guy's name. Anyways. <clears throat> Hmm, the data so far looks pretty normal. The Dragon Vein regulation armor and these stones seem to be working at a stable rate. Uh. Fast forward? Oh. Okay. Just A to continue, I guess. Um. Dragon Vein regulation armor. Oh, is that the official name for this gauntlet? Yes, but you don't have to memorize that. After all, the pendant wasn't called D-Stone in the first place. Right. Other settings are done. Let's start the training. If you feel uncomfortable, let me know and we can stop immediately. Sure thing. I'm in pretty good shape right now. Let's get this thing going. Let's begin, shall we? Ready when you are. Alright, lock on. Use left trigger to lock on the nearest enemy. The camera will automatically follow the locked target and attacks will prioritize in the target's direction. If you want to change the priority of locked targets, navigate to the options in the title screen. Okay. Um, if there are multiple targets to lock on to, you can move right stick to switch between locked targets. You cannot manually adjust camera angle while locked on is activated. Use, well, I guess in my case, X, since I'm using a Xbox type controller, to perform, uh, to perform light attacks, press continuously X to perform consecutive attacks. Different characters have different combo th strings. Almost thought this said things. <laughs> different combo things. <laughs> Alright. Uh, use Y to perform heavy attacks. Heavy attacks are slower but have higher power and armor break effects. Uh, right trigger to dodge. When dodging, you'll be invulnerable for a short period of time. Uh, press right trigger while jumping to perform an aerial dodge. Cannot be used by some characters. Respond to an enemy attack and press right trigger at the right time to initiate a just dodge. Um, this will allow you to act faster than enemies and also restore a large amount of SP instantly. Defeat the training robots. Oh, there we go. I was like, it had no health, so how's it still alive? You know? Good job, you're doing great. Prepare yourself for the next training item. Am I doing this right? SP gauge. Energy is consumed when using SP and signature skills. SP automatically recovers unless dashing. Uh, raise mind and metabolic stats. Raise mind and metabolic stats to increase the recovery rate. When the gauge is depleted, it will enter a cooldown period. During this period, you cannot use any skills that use SP, but just dodges will instantly restore SP. While logged on to an enemy, press and hold right trigger to dash toward the target. You can perform follow-up attacks after enemy contact consumes 1 SP. Skills that consume from the SP gauge are more powerful. SP skills break enemy defenses faster and gain more at BP. Uh, 
when pressing right bumper the y x a on the skill panel will shift into the corresponding cor corresponding sorry corresponding sp skills the moves on the skill panel can be learned and equipped in the battle preparation menu okay interesting Colors on the S uh, on the skill panel indicates blue SP consume skill or SP consuming skills, red SP uh, skills subject to SP cooldown, yellow burst available for activation. No color skills are, are unusable. Hey, yeah. Okay, sounds simple enough. Alright, let's take a break for now. I'll review the data. It seems that both Yushanding's Dragon Vein energy and the Chaos Beast power from Nemea are now under control. I believe this means that you won't experience that intense pain from before when your body underwent that unexpected rejection response. It's all thanks to equipment you and Boss developed. I owe it all to you. Besides, this isn't the first time you've helped, uh, helped separate Leo's and the other's powers from me, so it's much easier. Nemea's energy wasn't exactly compatible with that of the Kunlunians or Kunlunians? Kunlunians? I don't know. Um, it must have been tough for you to manage multiple powers. Again, it has been a long time since I played the first game, so I don't, you know, I don't remember how to pronounce these, uh, uh, these terms. Um, some of these terms, anyway. Even though, even if they say it in the game, they speak Japanese, so I don't know if it's, you know, gonna be different pronunciation between Japanese and English. I can handle it. I haven't had any bad cases of these powers flaring up recently anyways. Now that I have this gear, I won't have to rely on everyone's power. I can still be of some help. Masumo. Oh, why not try out the new 3D printing feature that we've installed on your glove? 3D printing? Isn't that something that uses up some expensive resources? Well, regardless of that, it's a great tool that will allow you to fight in your own style. Give it a tr uh, give it a try to see how it works. EXSP. Oh. Uh, use B to perform signature skills. Each character has different signature skills. Consumes one SP. Crimson, uh, Crimson Strike. Powerful attack that most enemies possess. A red flash indicates. It's imminent use. Uh, it is dangerous, but makes a good counter attack chance. Uh, makes, uh, but makes four. Yeah. <clears throat> um, when Crimson Strike is about to hit, press B to perform a powerful counter attack. Oh. Okay, counterattack can interrupt enemy actions and gives a large amount of BP. Okay. Let's try it. Come on. Or do I uh, just use my signature skill then? No, 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 no. <laughs> Come on. What do you guys do it? Who's gonna do it first? Come on. 
Want us is out. Come on. Can you guys do it? Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. Whatever. I was always bad at parrying anyway. <laughs> Eh, oh well. Oh, I really printed something, except I'm confused. What material is it using to print? How you doing, Sushi? Welcome! Using your Dragon Bane energy, Miss Yumo, it will only cost you some stamina, and best of all, you needn't worry about money. Thank goodness. Even though I worked at, a, at her shop for a whole year, she still pays me minimum wage. It still saves me so much. But why is it summoning small chaos beasts? Can I not summon Leo, Behet, or Viata like I did before? Printing such large entities would consume a massive amount of stamina. However, it may be possible if you only printed their core form. In any case, we had better work on extracting Nemea's power from your body soon. All that chaos energy isn't exactly good for you. Did Nemea lose her ability to control chaos beasts because I took her power? Except I can't control them either. That particular ability is more like a system error. You'll be better off avoiding that sort of power to begin with. I didn't mean to say that say I wanted it or anything. Besides, I'm glad that Nemea's just an ordinary little girl now. And if possible, it would also be uh, it would also put me at ease to have you return back to begin an ordinary girl or oh, being, sorry. Uh, being an ordinary girl as well, Miss Yumo. You are still a student after all, and you should be enjoying student life rather than being forced to fight every day. Well, that can't be helped. Paul said that the fastest way to drain excess uh, dragon vein energy is by fighting chaos beasts. It's not so bad. I can help people out by defeating chaos beasts, get a good workout in the process, and get paid for it too. <laughs> Always with the positivity, Miss Yumo. Now, shall we test out the armor's new functions? Boss designed it to make things easier for you. Let's move on to the last item. Burst. Ooh. When BP yellow gauge is full, press right bumper and B to activate burst. During burst, attack power and SP recovery will be increased. During burst, attack power will rise according to your burst level. Using SP skills, just dodges, break strikes, and counter attacks increase the level. Increase Dragon Vein, Wafer, Drop. That is, yeah, wafer, wafer drop rate while burst is in effect and scales with burst level. It's time to kick it up a notch. Burst ultimate. When burst level exceeds 180%, press right bumper and B to use burst ultimate. Looking good. I'm impressed. But you really shouldn't mind your condition considering how poor your health has been recently. Oh, are we sick? And you really shouldn't mind all the cavities you're gonna get from all these sweets lately. Don't worry so much. Mr. Meg says I'm fine. Suits are so good, so I can't wait to get rid of it. I can't wait to get rid of it, so I can't wait to get rid of it. I can't wait to get rid of it. I can't wait to get rid of it. 
Well, just because your condition seems to be stable doesn't mean you can't take care of yourself. Also, we Colonians don't get cavities. Lucky. Man, that means they can eat all the sweets they can. Lucky jerks. <laughs> and to be able to eat all the candy you want. Anyways. Exactly. Are you serious? That's so unfair. Leo, you're also still recovering from her wounds, so shouldn't you be taking your own advice? Come, I've enhanced your weapon too. Oh, <laughs> oh, appreciate it. Thanks for always looking out for me. Nothing came up from my physical exam earlier, right? So, no need to worry. That's so doesn't mean you can't be careless. We've only ever had one singularity case within the last hundred years. That's why we need to ensure that the connection between the two of you has been severed completely and safely. Hey, hey, keep it down, will you? I thought I told you to keep Yumo being a... Singularity a secret. Hi, hi. Sireka ni that it demasenkara. Oh, so da. Bokumo kuasi koto a sirana in desuga. Right, right. I haven't even mentioned it to the commander. Oh, by the way, though I don't know all the details. Sireka nga ritsansta. You sent your lumia kante kekok desuga. Sudeni kyoka ga orite. Chikajika jiko danka ni hai so desu. I heard the Commander's Yushanding Dragon Vein Stabilization Project has been approved. It's about to enter its initiali in initialization phase. Sorry. So, <laughs> Once the project is launched, fewer Chaos Beasts will be able to enter the human realm, and that should lighten your burden. Commander? Ah, you're referring to Mr. Meng Zhang, right? He's really been helping me out a lot lately. Leo, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no need to apologize. I shouldn't be focusing on something so petty. Yumo, it's about time for us to return to Shimending. Oh, oh. Oh, right. So Yumo doesn't look that much different from how she looked in the first game, from what I remember anyway. And her uh, combat form doesn't look as different. That much different from the first game either. She has the same clothes on and same like hair design, I think. I don't know. Some it's a little different. I think there's some difference. Not that much of a difference. Um, let's see. Unfortunately, these transfer coordinates point to the only available location in Taipei. A bit far from Shimending, but you'll be fine. It's fine, we can just take a short ride on the MRT. Primitive compared to Kunlun's tech, but it's convenient. What's MRT? Is that like... Train or a bus? Maybe, I don't know. Let's see. Are you serious? Even though the technology isn't as advanced, I definitely prefer staying in the human realm. Quite envious. I would love nothing more than to visit the human realm and indulge in the street food from the night markets. Well, the least you can do is apply for a transfer to the human realm. When that day comes, I'll treat you to a great meal. 
I remember you said that. Oh, the teleportation sequence has already begun. Be careful on your way out. Okay, take care, Mr. Meg. Later! The human realm, huh? I wonder how Professor Muen is doing over there. It's gonna be so many new characters. This game, I'm sure. IMAX. IMAX 508 building. That's a movie. It sounds like a movie theater. I don't know. Uh, that never gets any easier. It's, it's been so many times now, but teleportation still makes me sick. But I'm still so amazed by Kunlun. They transferred us directly back to the human realm so easily. That's because Yu Shanding suffered too much damage, and the Great Commander granted us special permission to transfer. Great Commander, huh? It's rare, it's rare to hear such biting sarcasm from you, Leo. Do you dislike Mr. Meng, Meng Zhang that much? If there's one thing I'm grateful to him for, it's allowing you to receive immediate treatment at that Kalanian's base. Kalanian base, sorry. As for other things, it's just me holding pre uh, petty grudges. Probably best to keep your questions to yourself for now, kid. Fine, fine, I got it. I am wondering why we can only transfer to the base from Climax 508, though. Apparently, boss isn't sure either. It would be much easier if we could go directly from the store. Oh, speaking of boss, we better hurry. If we take too long, she'll chew us out for sure. Let's go, Leo. Well, since we're already here, don't you want to take this chance to say hi to uh, Viata while you can? Well, that's right. She's shooting on location today. Maybe next time. Right, let's get going then. I don't care to have boss nagging at me either. Leo has joined the team. You can now freely switch between playable characters. Quest objectives will be marked with exclamation marks. When you get close to exclamation marks, it will change to a special icon. Okay. Uh, the guy map in the upper right corner also indicates the location of quest objectives. If you leave the area of the quest objective, a red arrow will point the way. Sweet. In specific areas, this icon will be uh, this icon will be displayed, indicating that the camera function is limited. Uh, press left stick to dash. Note that dashing will stop SP from regenerating. Use D-pad to switch to the corresponding character to control. The switch system has a cooldown time, and the switch cannot be performed until the cooldown is over. Instead, BP rate uh, will, will increase for a short period of time. Return to Shimending. Alright. But yeah, this looks like... Oh, we can't go inside I guess I can't talk to those people either okay but yeah this looks like a like you know the movies a cinema or whatever oh I wonder if there's gonna be collect I remember in the first game there are like these random collectibles or whatever like you know scattered around the the world or like you know the area and we have to collect them. I wonder if that's a case here in this game. Take the MRT. Oh so this is a train station. MRT is a train system or When you see the MRT icon in the city, use it to enter the MRT station. The MRT travel icon will be shown in the station. Use it to 
open a list of destinations and select the place you wish to travel to. Cool. Hmm. Looks nice, looks nice. Can we go to the restroom? No. Restroom. Do, 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 do. Can't jump. Uh, okay. Let's, let's get inside. This man on the poster, where do I feel like I've been seeing his face everywhere lately? Let's see, his face is definitely familiar. I think he's a streamer? Or some kind of celebrity chef? Streamer, eh? <laughs> celebrity chef? <clears throat> What's it say here? Asperia? So what does that make him? A movie star? Oh, the train's about to leave. Let's hurry up, Leo. Zone move? When the move zone icon is shown on the map, you can use it to move to another area. Turn to Tumaz Mart. Okay. Mending. So then, uh I wish they would have showed like an animation of us going on the train of just a you know a loading screen. Oh well, that's fine. Oop, I am lagging a little bit. A bit of stutter. Pretty sure you guys can see it. Yeah, it's a bit stuttery. Maybe I should turn down the graphics. I feel like Shimending hasn't changed. Yeah, I remember the central area here. Shimending. That's a bit of stutter. Right. Back to the store ASAP, something like that. You can check the map of an area you've visited by selecting map in the main menu. Use it to check where your next de uh, destination might be. Press right trigger, or right trigger, right stick, sorry, to quickly reset the camera angle. Utilize this function to quickly see where your character is facing. Use left trigger to lock on to the nearest enemy. The camera will automatically follow the locked target and attack will be prioritized in the target's direction. If you want to change the priority of locked targets, navigate to the options in the title screen. Okay, hold on. I should probably turn down the graphics. I think high is still good. I mean, anime games like this, I don't think like graphic settings doesn't change too much in the looks. All right, let's go. Oh, wait, we're going the wrong way. This way. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Um, this area. The area hasn't changed a bit. Still looks pretty though. Stores right here. To Masmar, here we are. Ijonga, Takokse Kikyo no Hesperia Group no Shokai Desta. Otsugiwa, guest on Hesperia no CEO, Shoel San Omukai Shimas. And that's the overview of the international conglomerate, Hesperia. 
Now, let's give a, a, a give it up for the CEO of... Uh, my God, I can't read. Or can't talk. <clears throat> CEO of Hesperia, Mr. Shoal. Oh, that's the guy. That's the guy on, the, on those posters, I guess. Or ads or whatever. He looks like he's evil. I think he's evil. Anyways. Uh, hello everyone. It's my utmost pleasure to be here today. I am Sho Gehen Gehenna. It's wonderful that you could join us here today, Mr. Gehenna. Well, shall we get straight to the point then? Hesperia has been seeing a rising popularity in the stock market. What made you choose Taipei as the location of Hesperia's new branch? This guy is definitely evil. As a holding company that deals in energy and high-tech sector, and high-tech sector, and uh, we see great potential in the growth of re uh, relevant sectors in Taiwan. Our parent company was an energy technology business, so we hope to collaborate with key Taiwanese companies in these sectors. This is certainly exciting news. Well then, can you share with us how Hesperia intends to work with the local companies of Taipei? Lately, Hesperia began research into cleaner energy resources. We believe we have made a breakthrough breakthrough in utilizing the power of wind. By harnessing nanotechnology, it is possible to convert water vapor into power. A humid city like Taipei would be the perfect test. In fact, we are in negotiations with the local government, and I believe it won't be long before our facilities are unveiled in Taipei. Incredible! This technology could reduce the harsh humidity in Taipei. Is there any chance this could affect the environment negatively? Environmental evaluation is a top priority when developing green energy. The only negative effects I foresee are the sales of dehumidifiers. <laughs> I see Asperia's CEO also has a great sense of humor. Well, let's move on to our next question. Oh, hey, I remember this girl. This girl is, uh, is Yuma's friend. She looks different. Looks, yeah, I don't remember. She, yeah, she does look different from the first game, from what I, uh, from what I remember. I don't remember if she had like straight hair in the first game or like a ponytail in the first game. But I feel like I don't remember her having like somewhat wavy hair. Anyways. Um, wow, young and handsome CEOs actually exist. I bet he can even cook and make for a really wonderful husband. So this is Nemea. Was she in the first game? Was she the main 
Dean Batty, the first game? Because I don't remember this girl at all. Yeah, I don't remember this girl at all. Anyways, um, come on Yusha, don't fantasize about that. Besides, it's too early for you to think about getting married. He's so well-mannered, gentle, and smart. He's probably a great boss who treats his subordinates super nicely, too. I'm sure he's a bad guy still. Okay, I remember Boss being a, a little like statue thing, but I'm pretty sure in the first game they also showed how Boss used to look before she either got trapped inside that thing or turned into that thing. Um, but I don't remember, I don't remember how she looks like. Anyways, huh, as if. I bet he's selfish and spoiled. The fancier they seem, the dirtier their methods for getting what they want. I wonder if these are the same voice actors from the first game. I know Yumo's, or Yuma's, whatever, Yang's, and Leo sounds pretty much the same from the first game from what I re uh, remember but I don't I don't know if the other characters are the same voice voice actors um anyone who could spew out garbage like that must be a hypocrite who exploits his workers has anyone even talked to his secretary lately <laughs> Auntie, I don't think you're the one uh, you're one to talk about exploiting your workers. Oh, Yumo, welcome back. Where did your checkup go? Sister Yumo! You know, the more I hear Yumo's voice, I feel like she sounds like Asuka from uh, Senran Kagura. I don't know if it's the same voice actress or not, but they sound pretty similar. Someone care to explain this game? Um... This is a sequel. Um, I have played the first game like a while back on the channel, but I kind of forgot what it was, <laughs> what it was about. So I don't quite know. I just started the second game, so this is the first stream of the second game. So I don't know what this one is about, but I don't remember what the first game was about. So I apologize, Game Master. How you doing, man? It's been a while. Welcome. Um, it went well. No need to worry about me. By the way, what are you watching that's getting you all riled up? Oi, oi. Hey, why isn't anyone at the register? No wonder our store is losing business. <laughs> well, I'm still still have to explain. In case you I don't think you were around when I for when I played the first game, so. I'm just explaining still that I forgot what the first game was about and I'm just starting the second game. So, I don't know what this one is about either. Anyways, um, come back at the right time or just at just the right time. I have some jobs for you to take care of. Of course. Good jobs. I've already spent all morning sorting out all the goods we received in today's shipment. What do you think, genius? A dimensional fissure was detected at the Wan Wanyan building. Take Yumo and investigate. Dimensional fissure? Does this mean there are more chaos beasts in Yushanding? There's only one way to find out. If we if we find any, we'll just take care of them right then and there. Alright, it'd be big trouble if somebody got hurt 
from something coming out of the fissure. Be careful, sis. Don't worry, Namiya. I'll take care of myself. Also, no need to delay her any longer. Just go and come back as soon as you can, you know. Will do, boss. You should. Uh, so sorry about this. Can I ask you to watch over Nemea and the store for me? You got it. Oh hey, don't forget that you have a very important GE class to attend later tonight. Uh, we can't have Yumo skipping college classes because of this. Let's get going. We're the only one in the category. Let's see if anyone new shows up. Oh, well. I don't know. I mean, this game has come out... This game did come out like a month or two ago, so either people already streamed this game when it first came out and beat it, or maybe just no one bothered to stream it. Because the first game was pretty short, I beat the first game in about 5 streams, so it could be the same case for the sequel. Um, but yeah, I don't know how long this game is, so it'll be the same length, it could be longer. I guess we'll have to see, right? Um, interact with the cash register to buy and sell items with boss. As the story progresses, equipment enhancement services will become available. To buy items from boss, you will need Dragon Vein wafers. Wafers are obtained by defeating enemies, and you can earn more by using bursts efficiently. You can sell materials or food to boss to earn money. You can also sell equipment or orbs to earn wafers. Um, select battle preparation in the main menu. Navigate to battle items in the items page to set up what you wish to bring to combat. Each item has a carrying limit. During combat, press left bumper D-pad to use the corresponding battle items. You cannot use another item within a short period of time. Buffing items cannot be used again until the effect wears off. Tumas Mart has a lounge for its staff where you can save your game's progress. Be sure to save before you quit the game. Save data can be loaded by pressing continue on the title screen. You can load auto save files here as well. You can rest in the lounge and fully restore all characters' HP. Damaged clothes will also be restored. Wait, our clothes can get damaged in this game? I don't remember that being a thing in the first one. Uh, the rest function in the lounge is now available. Go to Wan Yan building in... or to investigate. Cool? Okay, this is interesting, interesting. Only one other person has streamed the game before you about 19 hours ago according to Twitch. Oh, so that was not so long ago. Oh. Huh. Interesting, interesting. Drop, Lightning Elbow, Splash, Chaos Beast Replica, oh that's already required. Acquired, I mean. Uh, Shining Rush, Lightning Kick, Cyclone Kick, Yumo Punch. Interesting. I think... Let's see. Oh, we can't change outfits. We don't have any new outfits. Lame. Okay. About 37 clips for the game. Oh, damn. I mean, it's no surprise that games like this is uh, you know, not a lot of people 
stream this game or either watch this game because I mean this game I don't think this game is made by like a well-known developer from what I remember I think um I don't think I, rem I don't think uh, if I remember correctly I don't think a lot of people even played the first game I don't know 86 followers for the category yeah Sounds about right. I don't think a lot of people on Twitch, at least, play like these small anime type games. All right. I guess let's uh let's go to the Wanyan Wanyan building. This <laughs> Wait, how come that last last voice acting didn't sound like it was over the phone? What the heck? That sounded like she was like with us. That was weird. Anyways, um, is there a way to like have the map rotate with us? I don't think so. Oh wait, no. Here. Lock map north. Um let's turn it off so we can have There we go. That works. I like having the map rotate with us. Hmm, look at the original and it has 521 followers. Very confusing. Maybe not a lot of people knew that this game had a sequel. Because I didn't know this game had a sequel. Um, I mean, I found out when it first came out, like, um, like two months ago or two or so months ago. But like, I didn't, I, I didn't hear a word about it, about you know, Dust Diver getting a sequel before that. Like, I, I knew, or I found out about it like, I think a few days after it released. So, I was surprising. Ooh. Inside. This must be the fissure. Not a good thing to have it pop up in a place with lots of people going about their business like this. Let's get inside and take out the chaos beast. Yemo, what's wrong? It's about Nemea. I think she's still uncomfortable with the idea of us fighting and defeating chaos beasts. He did spend a significant amount of time with those things, so that m makes sense. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to worry you. I don't want to see people being attacked by Chaos Beasts either. Let's get going, Leo. Most recent stream was seven hours ago. Oh, wow. Um, after entering Yushanding, you can uh, you cannot enter the human realm until the mission is done. Do you want to enter Yushanding through the dimensional fissure? Let's do it. Boy, uh, that surprised me. I thought it was a real chaos beast. <laughs> oh, the statue right in front of her. But it's just a sculpture. I didn't expect a dimensional fissure would take us straight to the inside of the Wanyan building. This place. Is this Tim's world? Looking at this escalator, I would think so. I've been coming to Hu Shanding for a long time, but I never knew about an arcade here. But we aren't here to play. We better be careful and investigate this place properly. 
Proceed further to investigate. All right. Like that blue fiery hair. So cool. All right, let's go up the escalator. Wait, what happens if we can we interact with the statue? No. Can't go downstairs because these measly boxes are blocking our way. Like we can't freaking kick them over. Ooh. Oh, it's an air hockey table. There's a claw machine. Oh, this is cool. Chaos Playland. Right, I know that. But isn't this isn't just your run-of-the-mill arcade? Still, I never knew there was such a fancy place in your shandy. I can take some cool photos, like one of those influencers on social media. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, settle down. You're getting a little bit too excited considering how far removed we are from the real world. When the dragon veins are in a state of chaos, it leads to situations like this where dimensional vistas start overlapping. When Amea uh, tried to break the seal, something similar happened where the dragon veins started to warp. Perhaps some powerful force is trying to interfere with them. Boss, uh, have you picked up any strange readings? Do you really have to yell? Yeah, I can see what's going on from my end. Let me take a look at the data. Hmm, apart from the chaos beast uh, responding, the stability of dragon veins seem about the same as it was when Nemea was liberated. It shouldn't be anything serious enough to change the landscape of Yushande. In that case, we have no choice but to look around. It can get very- uh, it can get dangerous if we leave the number of Chaos Beasts unchecked. I do agree with your assessment though. The situation is very strange. Well, if you run into any danger, just get out of there. I'll figure out a way to teleport you back here. Got it. I really hope this doesn't lead to any trouble. Oh, boss, here's some news from the base. Meg said that Kunlun's dragon veins, uh, Kunlun's dragon vein stabili stabilization project was approved. Oh my god, do you have to say this now? Why didn't you say this when we were at the shop? If that project was Meng Zhang's backing, you can count on it being a bad one. Don't get your hopes up. True, we'll just have to do what we can. Sounds like Boss still has major beef with Mr. Meng Zhang. Oh boy. Beast. Anyway, why is the doll talking? Um, I think from what I remember, the little doll thing used to be, well, used to have a human form. But I think she somehow got trapped in it, or she got turned into it. I don't remember, but I, I do remember sh uh... The doll, the person that's talking in the doll or as the doll used to be, or used to have a human form. But yeah, I don't remember. Um, Yumo's fighting style focuses on continuous melee combat. Certain skills inflict the electrified effect on the target, which will interrupt their actions. Conan 3D printing prints out attack assistance to help in battle. New printing models are attainable through side quests. Ooh, that's cool. Burst trait. Thunderlord. Under burst effect, light and heavy attacks inflict electrify to quickly cripple enemies. Leo's fighting style focuses on heavy smashes. When using light attacks, hold X to consume ammunition and attack. When using heavy attacks, consume all ammunition for an AoE attack. A uh, block, block hostile attacks and perform a counter attack. It has a wider response window than others and auto triggers, enhanced reload. You can also hold B to reload while blocking. Cool. Um, ammunition that inflicts the burning effect to break enemy defenses faster under enhanced reload. Power increase, increases and certain SP skills gain additional attacks. Uh, burst trait, infinite ammunition. 
Under burst effect, enhanced reload is always in effect, enhancing its corresponding skills. Press left bumper X, Y, and B to use support skills. However, it is subject to a cooldown time and you cannot use support skills to, or switch during that time. SP skills set as support skills will not consume the SP of your companions. Instead, however, the skill will be fixed at level 1. He zaps people and is a 3D printer, yes. Basically. Whoa, what the heck? You're standing on the escalator, dude. You're not supposed to do that. There's Jackie Chan if he was more of a dad bod. <laughs> Oh, huh. Getting wafers, yay! Hey. Yep. Nice. Alright. this? What is this? It's shining and spinning. It looks like some kind of power switch. I wonder what it controls. The device in front of, in front contains a strange energy. Do you want to activate the device? Sure. Oh, hi. ちょっと。まあ、こいつらをなんとかしねえとな。俺も仕事だ、仕事。文句は後だ。へいや、これで片付けよう。へいや、触っと。へいや、触っと。はい。うん。That was cool. Battle report. When the battle's over, you will gain a uh, EXP and Dragon Vein wafers depending on the overall battle performance. The battle you fight, or the better you fight, sorry, uh, the bigger the rewards. Hmm, okay. Basic, or base, basic value EXP. Max combo bonus increases the max combo count. Uh, burst ultimate finish with a burst skill. Burst, uh, a burst frequency bonus, just dodge, just dodge frequency bonus, counter, counter attack, frequency bonus, break strike, break strike frequency bonus. Note that each bonus category has an upper limit. Crystallized dragon vein energy that can be used to learn SP skills. You can also use them to buy items or upgrade your equipment into mass marked. Let's see what has changed in this area. Oh, that energy wall is gone now. It appears by activating that pillar, we can remove the obstacle. I am guessing the other places have similar mechanisms, but this means we activate them. We activate them, we should expect chaos beasts. Always say yes to any switch prompt on any game. That's how I die <laughs> often. <laughs> it happens. It happens. If we want to go forward, I don't see other alternatives. It's good thing. It's a good thing that we only have to deal with chaos bees. Well, you never know what will happen next. Uh, what will happen next? Just think of this as a warm up. Um, power device, a unique device in Chaos Playland. Use it to unlock passages, but it will also attract the attention of Chaos Beast. Be prepared. Yeah. Yada 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 yada. It's a coin machine. Looks like oh, those are coin machines. You seem to have something else blocking our way. Is that a coin machine over there? This place finally feels like an arcade. Seems like we've got a capsule machine in our way. Does this mean we need to feed it coins? There's a lever next to it too. And it shows the number of tokens needed on the machine here. Oh, those glittering objects next to the machine must be the tokens. Uh, maybe we can find enough by scrounging around. Let's go to other areas first and see if we can find any. 
Please edit the bot's message to sound less like a want more followers bot. It's fine. I'm so glad I don't have to use real money for this. I've also burned through my paycheck for this month already. You're worrying about your wallet while we're in the middle of this? I'm not sure if I should be worried or impressed. Look, you can't get anything done without money. That's enough talk. Let's get uh let's look for those tokens. Safe zones. A relatively stable area in Yushandi. You can access all X all services available at Tumas Mart here. Make good uh, use of its convenience and prepare for future battles. In battle preparation, use EXP to increase attributes. Each time an attribute is increased, a level is gained. Every character has a max level of 100. Wow. Okay. Strength, increase attack power scales with weapon. Endurance, increase defense scales with equipment. Stamina, increase maximum HP. Mine at 1 SP to the SP gauge at level 6, 12, and 20. Metabolic increase SP recovery rate, excluding cooldown time. Uh, power increase burst duration, luck increase critical strike chance and drop rate. In battle preparation, use Dragon Vein wafers to learn SP and combo skills. The skills you learn can also be upgraded. In battle preparation, navigate to set skills to select the desired SP skills to be used in battle or set them to be used as support skills. You can customize your team by selecting party setup in the battle preparation section of the main menu. Note that Yumo cannot be removed from the party. Makes sense. Unidentified equipment acquired in battles will be appraised upon completing a quest or entering a safe zone. Subject to a carrying limit. Cool. Collect tokens to activate the device. Alright, let's what's this thing? Alright, battle preparation. Can we level up anything? We have 24 EXP. So strength. Yeah, strength was attack, endurance was defense, stamina is HP. Oh, okay. We don't have enough. And yeah, we need at least a hundred. So we can't do anything. What about skills? Okay, 59. And all these, like require 2,000. Well, the first one requires 2,000, so that means we're gonna have to save up a lot. Secret store? <laughs> Cheaper? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Okay, so we don't have any of the red? No, I think that's the, ra the same wafers. Just don't have a lot of them. Oh no. Anyways, um, I guess we can't really buy anything. Oh, we can save though. Alright, let's break these. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, shit. Yeah! Yep! Ooh. How many tokens do we need? We need 12. So we'll go find 12 tokens then. Um... 
Okay, it didn't have those X's when, like, from further away. Like, I have to go in closer to s for, dis uh, for us to see those X's. Anyways. Oh. Um, break. By continuously attacking an enemy, you can force them to into a break state where... They will be stunned for a short time. The higher the break power, the easier it will be. Use break strike when near an enemy in the break state by performing the controls as indicated. Break strikes increase BP and burst levels. Uh, enemies launched into a wall are considered to be in a break state, allowing you to use break strike while they're vulnerable. Press down D-pad to change your companion's tactics. Aggressive, actively fight with you. Stand by, avoid combat, use support skills. Oh. That's new. Um, defeat defeated enemies will occasionally drop photons. Photon yellow replenishes BP and burst duration. Photon green restores HP slightly. While being knocked into the air or down to the ground, press A or right trigger to recover quickly. However, you can only press right trigger to recover um, on the air. Okay. Characters will go into a down state and be unable to act when HP reaches zero. Down members can be revived via a revive crystal or after battle with 20% HP. Revive crystals can be used to revive a down companion. Okay. <laughs> でも、まだ悪い癖が出てるぞ。Out the way. Ooh. That was cool. Well, that's all the tokens we can find. Let's go back to the coin feeder. Well, that was pretty easy. Okay. Just a moment, I need to check something real quick. Sorry. Continue on. Oh. 
Can we interact with these capsule things? Yep. Oh, we can break them. Hey, yep. Oh, we can't break these bigger ones. things to get wafers. Hey, yep. Yep. Okay. So let's interact with the switch here. Critical strikes. When an enemy hits an or when an attack hits an enemy, there is a chance to inflict a critical strike that deals a large amount of bonus damage. If a critical strike occurs when using a skill that launches an enemy into the air and inflict and inflicts the wall launch effect where enemies are rammed into a wall mm. <laughs> Oh, Magically appears there. Boy. This place seems massive. Well, this place is even bigger than I imagined. Looks like there is a UFO catcher in here. I suppose this means we'll need to look for tokens again. Oh, since we're already we already know how this works, we'll be fine. That said, that large platform over there, it's giving me an ominous feeling for some reason. 
Oh, you mean that thing? That's an air hockey table. You know, it used to be very popular back in the day. <gasps> Excuse me. Let's focus on the UFO catcher for now. Hope we don't have to find too many tokens. Menu. Press pause or start, whatever. Um, to open the main menu, you can find all the necessary features there. Battle preparation will be unavailable when opening the main menu during combat or while in you chanting. You can still view your character's info and statuses. Game progression is shown here. Main quest, current progression of the main storyline. Other quests will be available as you progress the story. Challenging quests can be aborted in the main menu. Use abort quest to return to the human realm. However, all resources obtained from the quest will be lost. Well then... So we can't go this way, right? Wait. Oh. Still can't go that way. <laughs> I'm assuming that switch powers or closes off both sides, right? Alright. Let's do it then. Status ailments. Some skills boast negative status ailments that can affect the afflicted characters in various ways during battle. Enemy chance to damage and interrupt enemy actions. Party chance to be damaged and interrupted with each attack. Oh wait, no, this is all for electrify you. So burning, enemy lowers defenses by 50% and prone to break status. Party lowers defense by 50. Okay. Lacerate? How do you say it? Uh, enemy suffers armor, ignoring damage over time, and allows sound wave to trigger a sonic boom. Party suffers defense, ignoring damage over time. Water shackle. Enemy cripple, movement speed, uh, party greatly lowers SP recovery rate. Oh, no. In both ways or no? Pretty sure this doesn't. Assuming this doesn't. Well, we need the tokens. I guess here. There's also a safe spot. First, we need 20 tokens to activate the machine this time. It's insane. How much time do we have to spend on gathering these tokens? Huh? Are we having an earthquake? Feels like the tremor is coming from the direction of the air hockey table. Oh. What? Oh, two more devices have shown up. 
That said, what are those things that keep bouncing around? Those are the honky pucks. They're the pucks for the game. Though the game is no fun if the pucks are moving around them by themselves. Oh, I guess it would, uh, would be painful if the puck hits you. Does this mean we have to avoid the pucks while fighting our enemies? Judging from the energy it's emitting, it would be harmful to ordinary people, so I don't think it will hurt you too bad. No need to worry. It's easy for you to say, boss. You're not the one taking all the hits. Air hockey, huh? This is so nostalgic. I used to play this uh, with the younger folks. Black tokens to activate the device. Okie dokie! There's a save thingy as well. Save. Let's see. World 2 wafers, 2000 gold coins, 176 EXP. I don't think we still have enough to gain. We'll come back. Oh, well, these are nice enough to show us the low lines, the directions. The lines, uh, you know, for the directions the pucks are going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow! Fuck, that scared me. <laughs> okay, let's activate this one. Oh, it also hits the enemies. Neat. Ow. Ah, stop it. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Damn it. So it doesn't seem like those pucks are doing any damage, really. Ah, stupid. Ah, <laughs> those are annoying. I'm never playing this game again. Uh, Sasuke is moving way too fast. I don't think we can outrun and make it up there. Uh oh. Hmm. Not with that attitude.
All right. Tokens over here. Do I have to do this? Oh no, it doesn't have a... Can't interact with it. All right, never mind then. Are these closed? So I will have to... Oh, I just grabbed that one. Uh. Ow. Identified equipment rank one. Looks like there are areas or there aren't any weird machines blocking our way this time. It'd be nice if it stayed like this. Oh man, I better not jinx it. Ah, uh, you probably already did. I got a bad feeling about this, but I can't explain what it is. Place with this kind of layout, controlled by specific mechanisms, thrown in Chaos Beast uh, into the mix, and it's almost as if... Come on, Leo. Nemea has neither the intention nor the ability to manipulate, manipulate the Dragon Vein of Ushanding at this point. Sorry, sorry. Old habits die hard. Even so, I can't help but be paranoid around situations like this. No, I'm sure it's fine. Let's just keep going. I mean, I don't blame him for being paranoid, I guess. Um... Got some more wafers and another equipment. Mm 
<laughs> Leo's still down there. Silver earrings, silver ring. Can we can we equip those? Hmm. I'm sure we're fine without buying any like killing items. We level up any skills. Yeah, two hundred. Strength. I feel like we need attack power. <laughs> Maybe Leo needs more defense. It's whack a boss. Hey, wait. What? What the heck are these moles? They look so annoying. Oh, there's the fake boss. Uh, the fake boss one I saw before. Hey, what do you mean they look annoying? Uh, more imitations? You better go and smash them all. But some of them look just like you. I don't care, I hate cheap imitations. <laughs> fine, fine. It seems that we're stuck here if we don't fight them. Um, a unique facility in Chaos Playland. In order to open the passage, we must destroy the replicas that look like bots. Interesting. Destroys the clothes and what? Oh. Is that it? Huh. Only destroyed one. 
まるでガキの悪ふざけだ前にベーダネーが優先庁で暴走した時水没してたよねあれもすごかったね店長が言うようにコンロンは応急措置で優先庁をギリギリで安定させてるだけだだから何者かが紛れ込むのはありえないことじゃない気をつけようあん。Have we ever gone to the other side? Oh, we can't go to that side. Say what? Unless we've already been to this side somehow. Wait, no. There's a box over there that I haven't opened. So, how do we get to there? Oh, wait, I, I didn't do this side yet. I don't think they occupy so. Just fill with items, it looks like.
What happened to the pucks though? They just disappeared when we got back. Alright. Silver ring. Is that silver ring better than ours? There's alarm going off. Why is that capsule glowing? I don't like this. Let's get these small capsules first before we interact with the big one. Beast type alpha? Uh, super armor. Formidable enemies possess this armor so, uh, to greatly mitigate damage taken. By sundering super armor, you can deal damage more effectively. The gauge under an enemy's HP represents the super armor gauge. Skills with high break power can reduce the gauge to zero where the enemy will enter the break state. If attacked while HP is nearly de uh, depleted, your character will automatically dodge um, by performing a crisis dodge, your clothes will become damaged. Oh my. Oh, crisis dodge. You will not be able to use crisis dodge until, the, until you rest at the... Uh... The Two Mass Mart. And repair your clothes. The crisis dodge icon on the screen will tell you if it is available. You look like a zombie. What the heck? Mata onajimi no koitsu ka. Itsu mo no yo ni buttao su. Yimo. Liokai. Yup. Heya. Yup. Kana yo. Hot. Todoroke dai ne. Heya. Yep. 
Some little ones. my clothes. Yay, we did it. Woo! Looks like we triggered some sort of mechanism. Let's see where it takes us. This looks like uh, this looks like the prize pit of a UFO catcher machine. Does that make us the prize? Only well, one way to find out. Let's just head down and see what happens. Yeah, you can be really reckless sometimes. Yes. Wait, does this heal both me and Leo, or just me? If 
feel like it's just me. Alright. Oh, it's the end. Boss, well, so it looks like we've got another dimensional fissure. What does this one lead to? Looks like it will take you to the streets of Yushanding. And I picked up signals of passing chaos beasts. Well, I guess that means we've got to keep up with the chase. Let's go, Yuma. Magnetic energy necklace. Oh. So, do we just go back? Oh, I don't see Chaos Beast anywhere. They'd be hiding to ambush us. They'll okay, take a look at that. Was, was that there when we came here last time? Huh? What are you talking about? The walls? This is... That's the insignia of the dimensional gate base. Oh, are you talking about the symbol on the walls? Leo, this is bad news. That's the gate that can sever dragon veins. Meng Zhang has actually done it. It looks like he plants... He plans to walk down Yushanding. Separate dragon veins? Is that actually possible? There's no time to explain this in detail. For now, just know it's gonna be much harder to get in and out of Yushanding. I'll try to open a passage in the store's courtyard. You guys try and find a way to get out of there as soon as you can. Looks like we looks like we don't have uh have time to clean up the rest of the chaos beast. Let's get out of here now. Yep, we don't want to be late for my class. Return to Tumaz Mart. Save me. Or... Um, equipment. We have two or 1400. Still not enough to learn a skill. 493. Um, that's. We should do stamina as well. We have enough. Lame.
Gates everywhere. Uh, there are gates everywhere I look. How am I supposed to know which one to go through? The gate up ahead, it's slightly different in color. It looks like a chaos beast is stuck in there. Maybe we can figure out a way to get through. Let's go over and check it out. Hey, yeah. the chaos beast what in the my hero wants justice is this so this game is called dusk diver 2 i played the first game on stream like a year or so ago um but why did it not just go around i don't know i guess it got stuck in there and um when it like came out you know like it was in the in the way of the gate and then just got stuck in there but um, yeah, I played the first game like a year ago, um, I don't remember what the first game was about, um, so yeah, I just started playing the second game. So, there's a gap just to the left there, yeah I see it, I see it too, but I don't think the game will allow us to go through. <laughs> but um, yeah. I played the first game. The game was fun. The game was short. The first game was short. I don't know about this, the second game. But this game came out like uh, two months ago or so, I think. But so far I'm enjoying it. It's pretty cool. Is gate really that dangerous? Well, thanks to that unlucky chaos beast, this gate's force field has been weakened. The barrier effect is still active, but its stability is fluctuating. If you time it just right, you should be able to get through. Hurry, we're out of time. Are you serious? Do you not see what the gate did to that chaos beast? You, we have no other choice. Yeah, we, yeah, there is another choice. There's a gap right there. <laughs> it's now or never. <laughs> this game. Faulty control gate. You cannot directly pass through a faulty control gate, but use but using dodge might do the trick. Oh my god. This game just uses any type of mechanic to get through something so simple. See? Yeah, they won't let us go, like, on the sides. Hey, how you doing, bot? How's, how's the how's them muffins? Welcome! That's some Scarlet Nexus bullshit? Yeah. <laughs> Muffins taste good? What kind did you make? Oh! I think I lost health. Wait, did I lose health? I feel like I lose health. Or I lost health. Hmm. Well, we got through, I guess. Uh, they may have totally fallen apart because I didn't have yogurt, so just use more milk. Just chocolate? Ooh. That sounds good. So... Oh, Jesus. Hey, <laughs> Yep. 
Uh -huh. bounce on the wall. Or get stuck to the wall. No, no, no. Oh, I did. Never mind. Yeah. Nice. That was cool. Alright, we're almost there. Can I go this way? Anything this way? Can't go through those. Is there anything over here? No. Break these so we can get more workers. Items over here. Yeah. All right. Um, but are we like, are we playing Fortnite with Reese? Right? Are we still doing that? So he was gonna be on later, right? He's on Rocket League, I think, and Johnny is on listening Spotify but not replying. Hmm. Did you message him though? Did, or not not Johnny at least? Let's see if he still wants to play Fortnite. see so many chaos beasts still remaining there. It'd be a real mess if they spilled out into the human realm. The gate did its job in severing the dragon vein, thereby restricting the movements of the chaos beasts. As a result, it should be harder for dimensional fishes to form now. But we can continue this conversation when you get back. I don't think the passage I created can last much longer. It looks like our way to the store is clear, Otero Yuma. Oh yeah, right. Okay. Dragon Bane? What is this? Fire Emblem Fates? <laughs> Military Flat Cap. Excuse me. 400? Oh my god. Uh, learn skills. Do we have enough to learn a skill? 
Well then. Once the restricted area have been configured, it will something, something, something. Who are they? Uh oh. Oh. He turned back into a little lion. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, I don't think so. あの姿に戻ってくる。もし<笑><笑><笑> Finally done with them. Are you alright, Yumo? Yeah, I'm fine. Mr. Meg said that my numbers were stable for my condition. That's what worries me. Even though you're supposedly fine, you're still you still suffer from the symptom. Like I said, I'm okay. Let's just get back already. Nah, 
Something's up. Something is up. Ah, oh, thank goodness, we're finally back! Welcome back! It took you quite a while to get back to this... to work this time, didn't it? I came back from pottery class a long time ago. I can say that again. I didn't think this, uh, this trip would end up being so stressful. Let me go and brief boss first. You know, go and take a quick break in the lounge before we, you leave school. Don't worry too much about me. I'll feel better. Uh, I'll feel better after I get something to eat. Let's go talk to boss first. Leo has temporarily left the team since Yuma needs to go to school. Leo just, uh, Leo just informed me about the Dragon Vein Stabilization Project, and the moment he does, it initializes. What's, what is going on? I'm afraid I don't know. The project is being spearheaded by the commander. It's information I'm not privy to with my current level of clearance. Even so, I am pretty sure Yushanding still falls under my jurisdiction. How dare Ming Zhang pull a stunt like that without my permission? Bring me out isn't going to help. Hey, your commander is the one who refuses to take my call. Who else am I supposed to talk to about this? Perhaps the commander is just preoccupied. If I run into him, I will make sure to pass your message along. In any case, go and start digging for information. If you find anything useful, you make sure to let me know. Alright, will do. Okay then, I've got some work to do, so I'll be hanging up now. So, was this another one of Meng Zhang's high-handed high decisions? Probably, but we don't have much information to work with. Let's just lie low and watch what happens for now. Oh, so Yumo had an episode again. Oh, even Boss is worried about me. I'm fine. The pain didn't even last that long. Oh no, is it because of me? Don't think about it too much, Nemea. I was probably just thrown off by hunger pangs. Yeah, no need to worry, Nemea. It's Yumo. She'll bounce back once she eats something yummy. You're just right. Speaking of food, let's head out to eat, Nemea. Yay, I want to eat curry today! What about you, Leo? You must be hungry too. Care to join us? You go right ahead. I can't leave the store unattended since Bahead's taken two days off. Thank you, Leo. Well, I'll make sure to drop by after classes are over. Okay. You can freely view game-related information in the gallery via the lounge. As the store progresses... Story, not the st as the story, not store, sorry. Um, the gallery's content will be updated. The Diver's previous storyline can be reviewed here. Oh. Okay, that's cool. Uh, character profiles are shown here. As the story progresses, its contents will be automatically updated. Purchase soundtracks from the record store can be played here. You can only purchase soundtracks that you've heard at least once in the game. You can check information regarding restaurants you visited and meals you've eaten. You can also check what you have not discovered yet. Check illustrations you've collected here. As the story progresses, illustrations can be obtained in the human realm and some illustrations will be updated accordingly. Information regarding previously encountered enemies, numbers, defeated, first encounter locations, and loot drops. A loot drop list will be shown here. Go to Gemma Curry. Alright, I guess we'll call things here. Wait, can we rest? We can rest here. Yeah. Sweet. Something. Alright, I'll be there in a bit. Save. And that will be it. Alright. Dusk Diver 2. Conlon Lado. Oh, cool. Yumo and Leo are on the title screen here. Alright, but yeah, this will do it for um 
for tonight. I mean, I guess it's 5 o'clock, so I should probably end stream as a whole here. Um, but yeah, um, we'll continue this tomorrow if uh, nothing else happens, of course. But yeah, this game seems, um, seems fun. Seems interesting so far. Uh, I'm glad that I decided to try the sequel, The Diver. And uh, yeah, we'll continue this tomorrow, but I appreciate you guys coming by and hanging out. I hope you guys did enjoy this first stream of The Diver 2. Just uh, close out the game here. And uh, yeah, um, hope you guys have a great rest of your night or day, depending on what time it is for you. And I will see everyone tomorrow. Goodbye.